on a massive deployment. 58,000 miles, 668 days, 58 port visits and 13 countries later, survey vessel HMS Echo returns to Plymouth. Well, today is obviously a, a very happy occasion after 22 months away from our, our base port. Uh, we're delighted to bring the ship back to, uh, to, to Plymouth uh, and to enjoy the Devon sunshine. The ship is run by around 80 sailors. They work on watch rotations, meaning they're usually away from home for 10 weeks at a time. It's good, yeah, it's been great. Uh, obviously she's four months old now, so I've been away for three and a half weeks. So uh, even though I don't seem that long, it's still they change everything, just start giggling and start doing a couple of other bits and bobs. But uh, no, I'm really happy to be home. And obviously she's got her older brother and sister here as well. So good to see them too as well. Yeah, we've been away for a while now, so it's lovely to get back to the family. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's nice. We've not, really, we've not really been away for too long, to be honest. It's more the ship's been away from Plymouth, but it's nice to see the family on the jetty when we get in, obviously. It's nice for you to be here as yeah, well. Yeah, brilliant. Really proud. Since leaving Devonport, the ship has been part of NATO maritime security operations and EU counter-illegal migration missions in the central Mediterranean. Inevitably, you can only do that within the region where the smuggling has taken place. So, as a, as a byproduct, there have been occasions where the ship's been involved in, uh, in life saving operations. Uh, and I'm really proud, actually, of the contribution that uh, my ship's company have, have made to humanitarian operations over the course of this deployment. In December last year, the government deployed HMS Echo to the Black Sea at short notice when Russia seized three Ukrainian naval ships and their crew in the Kerch Strait. She was the first foreign warship to visit the country following the incident. That, that was a fantastic experience. Uh, it was probably one of the most rewarding elements of, of the deployment, actually. Uh, during the time that we were in the Black Sea, we visited uh, Romania, we visited Ukraine, we, we visited Georgia. All allied countries are all really, really uh, pleased to see us and, and glad of the reassurance that a Royal Navy vessel visiting their, their harbours provides. HMS Echo and her crew will undergo training here in the UK over the coming weeks before deploying once again.